good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another MDT pick fed video for you guys. A video that I've been wanting to make since Hell's Gate. You know, we had a lot of shit go down at Hell's Gate, and I know I've said it a hundred million times, but I want to thank everyone who came out to the live premiere of MDT Hell's Gate and watched the show live with us and reacted to the show, you know, just like you were watching a WWE pay-per-view. Everybody that commented on that video and has watched that video and liked that video, anything about the video, you should shared it, whatever, you talked about it, I appreciate you guys so very much, and all of the positive you know, feedback about that show, and even the critiques about that show, I really, really do appreciate it, but today guys, we're back with another roster video, we have an updated roster video following MDT Hell's Gate, again, a lot of stuff went down at that show, a lot of things happened, uh, some debuts happened, I mean, we had some epic shit go down at that show, so I want to update you guys on what the roster is standing looking like as we head into My Damn Nation, as we get ready for these three Vindication shows, before we get there. Of course, you have three MDT lives as well, but let's get into it, guys. We need to start off with the champions, so let's get into it with the first and the almighty Kenny Omega, the MDT Elite Championship, probably the most precious prize. You know, a lot of people probably call this the, the most, uh, you know, prestigious championship. I personally would say the MDT Championship because, you know, MDT Live is my shit over there. But Kenny Omega stepped inside the Elimination Chamber, and he found himself retaining his title at the end of the night. Absolute ridiculous circumstances that took place, I thought he was done for, man. I think everybody thought he was done for, and somehow it all works out for Kenny Omega in the end, in the Bullet Club, as he retained. We didn't have any title changes at Hell's Gate, which was absolutely absurd. A lot of people upset about that, man. I mean, I, I completely understand it, but the Elite Champion reigns as Kenny Omega, and at the end of the show, what happened? Brad Balor Club came out, revealing Finn Balor's jacket that was missing from the office wall that Kenny Omega had up on the wall for so long as a trophy. It went missing, and it was revealed in that casket. The casket that Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club buried Finn Balor in back at Blackout. And uh, what an epic moment right there. So let's go ahead and get Kenny Omega out of the way. He is still our elite champion. He is definitely leading the way for the roster. And I'm sure that he has a big matchup ahead of My Damn Nation once we get confirmation of what's going to take place between him and the Balor Club. Moving up, guys, we do have the MDT Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks. Obviously, they did retained due to disqualification and this matchup was really underrated at Hell's Gate. I think this is my favorite or one of my favorite matches by far to film. It was a very fun matchup. I love this match. You know, if it didn't end in disqualification, it probably would have went down as probably behind those chamber matches. It probably would have been match of the night. I really like that match a lot and the Young Bucks, uh, they put on a show out there with the Wyatt Colt. So they remain our MDT Tag Team Champions. And before we get into the rest of the roster, I do want to knock out the last two champions on the brand. We of course have our revolutionary champion, Marty Skrull who only made one little uh, showcase. You know, he didn't have a match at Hell's Gate, but he still is the revolutionary champion, and he will be defending his title at My Name Nation. Every title will be on the line as well as some other matches, so it's going to be a stack card. It's going to be a long show, but uh, the MDT revolutionary champion, Marty Skrull, is still a champ over there, and Bullet Club completes its, uh, its, its five championships with the Ironman championship that Cody Rhodes did retain versus Johnny Gargano. Cody Rhodes still stands as your Ironman champion coming out of that parking lot brawl with Johnny Gargano, where he pretty much murdered Gargano, and that was absolutely crazy, man, but now that we've covered our champions, guys, let's dive into the rest of what has occurred here, so at MDT Hell's Gate, you guys know that The Undertaker came in, he came in, you know, he, he it looked like he was the, the lord, you know, of Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt Colt, and Undertaker was right there, it looked like he was about to put away Kenny Omega, Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black ready to take that elite championship, The Undertaker takes out Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black, hits him with the double choke slam tombstones on both, and we do not know where this man stands. We know that he is apparently not in alignment with the Wyatt Colt, but he does take them out, and I will say, he is not an official member of the Vindication roster. He is not an official member of the MDT Live roster. He is one of those free agent guys that just shows up. I am not going to say he's part of the Vindication roster or the MDT Live roster. He is just a part of the MDT roster itself, whether it be free agents or whatever. We don't we don't mess with the dead man, man. We, we let him do whatever the hell the dead man wants to do. So, Undertaker is a big time talent. I, I did want to put him in here to just explain that situation. Two new additions that used to be a part of the Vindication roster returning at MDT Hell's Gate. It was Braun Strowman and Kane returning as a tag team. If you guys remember all the way back at MDT sold out, the end of the show was a street fight between Kenny Omega, the elite champion, taking on Braun Strowman. The end of that matchup, Braun, you know, he does get defeated by Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club, and he got out. He was pissed off. He comes to the outside of the 
ring and a gloved hand that turned out to be Kane drug Braun Strowman underneath the ring and I guess he dragged him to hell because can we take a look at this Braun Strowman now as he returns to the roster here on Vindication on the blue brand the man looks like an assassin him and Kane just ran rapid on the Young Bucks on the Wyatt Colt they beat the shit out of everyone and they tore apart the entire arena I thought they killed everyone it was absolutely insane and what a way to return back to the roster donning this mask them two together I don't know how the hell you're supposed to stop them but they are in the tag team division and they are coming for those MDT tag titles they they literally killed Nick Jackson and they took out the rest of the Wyatt Colt all in one night so I, I don't know what is expected of these two guys but I'm scared to death for the MDT vindication tag team division but Kane and Braun Strowman do return together and uh, they're going to be a scary bunch to reckon with over there on the blue brand. Another surprise that we did have guys is Orange Cassidy. Now Orange Cassidy did appear in the parking lot brawl between Cody Rhodes and Johnny Gargano and it was a big pop from the crowd. Everybody seemed to enjoy it and I loved it as well. Big time signee over to Vindication and who the hell knows where this man can fit in. He can fit in absolutely anywhere on the roster in any championship feud man. Kenny Omega better look out because freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy is coming for that championship boy. You never know what's on the man's mind. You know anything can happen at any moment with Orange Cassidy so you definitely want to have your eyes peeled for Cassidy because he will be making his way around the blue brand as the weeks lead into My Damn Nation. Moving right along guys let's get into some more main event style talent. You guys know that we did have the MDT Hell's Gate Elite Championship Elimination Chamber match that featured Kenny Omega, Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, Adam Cole, Alistair Black, and Bray Wyatt. These are all big time talents in the main event on the, for the Elite Championship. All of them put on great performances in that Elite Championship chamber and they just came up short man you know due to certain circumstances Aleister Black eliminated AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura in that match Kenny Omega eliminated Adam Cole you can see he still beat the hell out of from that match got the neck brace on after that one winged angel off the top of the pod absolutely ridiculous Bray Wyatt and Aleister Black laid out by the Undertaker these two are still together in the Wyatt Colt while Adam Cole AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura look to you know get back some momentum after that elite championship chamber match that we will have to see what takes place over the next few weeks. Where are they going to land? You know, after losing that elite championship chamber, where the hell do they go next? Who are they going to take on going into My Damn Nation? Who is going to be left off the card? Because this ain't WWE. You know, we're not going to just shove everyone on the card just because. I want it to be prestigious. I want it to mean something. So we're just going to have to see what the hell takes place for those guys. So along with Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt, guys, we do have the rest of the Wyatt cult. You have Luke Harper. You have Eric Rowan. You have the Ascension. And uh, they're not really called the Ascension. They're Connor and Victor. But then you also have Big Cass and Sheamus. So all these guys are still a part of the White Colt. And, you know, they got exposed, man. They were looking so dominant. And then Kane and Braun came in. Kane and Braun single-handedly took out all these goons back here. They took out the White Colt in Luke Harper and Eric Rowan at the end of that matchup. And they put on that long matchup. Took them by surprise. And then, of course, the Undertaker took out the two top talents probably in that whole Colt in Aleister Black and Bray Wyatt. So all these guys are still here on the roster. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be looking for some revenge on Braun and Kane and The Undertaker after what all happened to them. Uh, a bunch of stuff happening in the tag team division, man. Who the hell knows where that's going to go? You got like three different teams involved and I'm sure some other tag teams probably want to get a run as well. So you have the Wyatt Colt in its entirety. Very big faction over there on the blue brand. Got to get all these guys out the hell out of the way. So moving on with the rest of the roster, guys. We had two more debuts over on Hell's Gate and we did have Tama Tonga and Bad Luck Fale returning but not only did Tama Tonga and Bad Luck Fale return guys we also had the return of the club we have Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows all returning in the in the freaking hooded figures bringing back that casket with Balor's jacket in it. Balor Club all one unit returning here. I'm super excited for this. I mean we got some big ass groups over on Vindication Man that's super exciting. Who the hell knows what's going to take place. This road to My Damn Nation is going to be very chaotic as if it hasn't been chaotic already from the Royal Rumble but I'm super excited for these four signees right here and if you guys remember the club came over to Vindication in a trade for Randy Orton way back in the day on draft day on draft night when the official 
actual draft took place. If you guys remember that, you're an OG fan. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys remember that trade that went down. And they've just been chilling, waiting on their moment. They brought in two other members, and I cannot wait to see what happens with these guys. So as far as the rest of the roster goes, guys, you do have some other mid-level talent. You got El Generico, Matt Hardy, Elias, Samoa Joe, other big-time players in the Ironman Championship division. Pete Dunne attacked Cody Rhodes following the bell. You've got Johnny Gargano, who had an impressive debut, but he did get his ass kicked, and he, he's probably injured. You know, we don't know the official release, but I'd be surprised if the man was on the shelf for a while. You also have Drew McIntyre, who has been a part of that Ironman division. He was Ironman champion at one point. We also have some other guys. Bobby Roode, who made his debut at the Royal Rumble. He's still here in the division. You also have some great tag teams on Vindication to go along with our other factions and other tag teams competing. I mean, you got Rusev Day back here, who had a pretty decent showing in the tag team tournament. You got Aiden, Aiden English and Rusev. You have American Alpha, who also was in that tag team tournament. So we have a couple tag teams here. And you also have a fan favorite, who a lot of people were loving in the tag team tournament. That was the Fashion Popo. You had the Fashion Popo in Tyler Breeze and Fandango. And then we have some other singles talent that we haven't seen in a while. I do believe we saw the breakup of Miz and Hurricane, but they are still a part of the roster as well. Who knows what the hell is going to go down with them. Haven't seen them in a while. After the lengthy championship reign and dominant performance by the Miz, who it came in at like the fourth or third ranked champion of all time in MDT history, I'm sure he has his eyes set on the prize for My Damn Nation. That man doesn't want to get that check, not cash for that big show. But th this route, this roster is absolutely stacked. You know, a lot of people would probably say, you know, that it's there's too many people on the roster. But I think you got a good blend of all kinds of guys. You got a great tag team division built on a foundation. I mean, you have the club, you have Braun and Kane, you have Rusev Day, you have American Alpha, you have the Young Bucks, you have the Wyatt Colt. I mean, Fashion Police. I mean, there's there's a lot of good tag teams in the division. You have some great mid card talent in Hardy, Generico, Dunn, Gargano, Drew McIntyre, Samoa Joe, Cody Rhodes, Marty Scurll. And then you have your top level talent and your factions, which would revolve around the Wyatt Colt, the Balor Club. And then, of course, you have your top main event talent in Kenny Omega. You've got your Aleister Black, Bray Wyatt, AJ Styles, Shinsuke, Adam Cole. So I think there's a lot of foundations to this roster. There's a lot of tiers to it, but Vindication's roster is absolutely stacked. Let me know down below if you guys want to know more about the MDT Live roster. You know, depending on how you guys like this video, I will do a version of MDT Live so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, I do want to line up our champions right here because they are still leading the way. I know a lot of people hate the Bullet Club, man, but you can't knock them off, man. Nobody can knock off the Bullet Club. And let me know down below, guys, what your favorite match was at MDT Hell's Gate. And let me know who your favorite member of the roster is for Vindication. I'm excited, man. I'm so freaking psyched. You know, I took that break. I'm excited to get back in the film room. Getting back over there, we got Vindication getting set to go. Episode number 16. Following MDT Hell's Gate, it is, it is going to be epic, man, because we have so many things that took place at that show. What is next? What is the next step in the process? We're going to find the hell out. You know, another, another envelope, if you will. Another page in the book turned and flipped over, and I am excited, man. So many unanswered questions that maybe we'll get some answers to from a bunch of different talents across the roster, but again, let me know down below what your favorite match was at MDT Hell's Gate. Who's your favorite member of the entire MDT Vindication roster? Would you guys like to see an MDT Live version of this video where I cover the updated roster? Let me know down in the comment section below, but this is going to do it for the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I gotta make a new custom Kenny Omega now because mine's bloodied the hell up. Uh, almost vomited due to all the blood. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.